all right so now we have uh, sign up for the developer org and this is the lightning version so let's go ahead and understand a uh, little bit of this ui that you are seeing in my screen and uh, what is object what is app what is configuration what is developer consoles all this thing we'll see now okay in this screen you see uh this nine dots this is the app launcher right so uh if you want to launch if you want to open any app by the way what is this app object and uh, tabs all this thing we will learn eventually one by one but i'm just showing you how the interface looks like okay what is what in this interface right so <clears throat> if you want to open up any application right or any object or any tab you have to search over here like sales right so uh, sales cloud we're gonna talk about this sales cloud in detail uh, in the next session right so sales cloud if you want to open the sales app this is the sales app these are called objects opportunity is the object lead is the object we'll talk about all these objects one by one and basically this is called tab all right the object name is opportunity okay and the tab name is opportunities what is tab what is object object is the table where the where you store the data object is the table in the data salesforce is what it's a database where you capture the customer data now object is the table where you capture the data what is tab in order to access that object you as a as an end user have to access that object correct in order to access that object you have to click on this tab so opportunities is the tab name lead is the object name leads is the tab name tasks is the tab name files accounts contacts all these are tabs okay you as an admin have to spend most of your time in the setup you you click on the gearbox and here you have something called setup if you click on that setup this is where most of your time will be spent as an admin let me tell you this this setup would be available to you because you are the admin the business user would not have the access to the setup okay so this is as an admin you can access the setup and you can we will learn all this uh, uh, configuration down the line okay if you click on the gearbox again this is something called developer console remember we discuss about something called platform as a service and i told you that uh, there's something called force.com the name of the platform is force.com where you as a developer go and write code and customize the platform right something which is not possible through the standard configuration uh, through the admin feature you as a developer can open up this particular developer console and write your own code and customize however you want so this is the platform basically we will uh, explore this platform in more detail in the um, development part we will also explore something called visual uh, studio right and that's the uh, bit of extension of this platform so platform is where you uh, write your code and uh, uh, build the customization i mean do the customizations this is one more thing where the notifications come so as a logged in user uh, you will find all your notification here in this bell icon okay now the most important part okay next few lines are very important okay this will help you to clear what would be your role as an admin and who will be using your application and how they will use okay See, there are basically two types of users. There will be two types of users in the Salesforce org. One, admin. Admin, who is nothing but you, you are the admin. So your job would be to configure the Salesforce platform for the customer. Suppose your customer is uh, a company named Delipad. Delipad is a customer, suppose. <clears throat> Delipad is a company which provides, suppose, uh, uh, software implementation services and delipad had so many customers all over the world and uh, delipad wants to implement uh, salesforce uh, crm for them right now delipad has supposed total 100 sales executives sales executive uh, finance people hr support executives managers ceo cfo so many people are there suppose <clears throat> there are 100 um, hundred business so these are the business users so you got the difference between admin and business user you are the admin your job would be to configure the salesforce platform configure the salesforce ecosystem for delipad and who will use it 
all these business user all these hundred users will actually use this particular application so let me start with an app you see we are basically in this sales application right and uh, if you want to switch the application all you need to do is have to click on the same nine dots and uh, there are few uh, salesforce given apps are available like sales service marketing community these are the salesforce given like ready-made apps are there okay if you want to switch to service from sales so you just have to click here okay what is basically application <clears throat> let's think let's just understand in this way suppose uh, you are helping a business again your customer is suppose delipad and delipad has uh, salesforce or uh, software development implementation business and they have customers worldwide right and delipad suppose wanted to use salesforce as their system as their uh, as their crm right now uh, so delipad might be having their sales team their uh, support executive teams their finance team their hr people right all these different category of people right will be there inside the same crm because that's the salesforce is the only crm for uh, for delipad right so all the different entities right different kind of category of people will log in into the same org and will be doing their own stuff let's say the finance the the hr person right will be logging and they have few things to do in the uh, in the system right so what we as an admin can do is basically we will be doing we will be creating applications so sales service like whatever ready-made application we have we can actually create application for like finance hr sales services different different application and we can give the application access to the associated uh, person suppose uh, you know someone named uh, rishik is the is the hr person so rishik when he logs in with his username and password he will be able to see only the app, apps called uh, hr apps right hr application correct so what happened is uh, a, a different category of people when they log into the system they will be seeing their own related application not others application right now let's understand what is application what do you, what, what exactly it refers to right see when i'm jumping from service application to let's say sales application do you see the tabs are getting changed see i got to see now different set of tabs right so application is nothing but collection of the needed tabs right so application so suppose hr people has to deal with an object called uh, employee another object called um, leaves and few other objects right sales people have to deal with let's say uh, a table called uh, leads campaign and account customers opportunity right so sales people will have access to sales app and sales apps are basically Mm, uh, having only the sales related tabs inside it right service app is basically having all the service related tabs inside it right so you might have hundreds of objects we discussed right what is object object are basically the table where you uh, where the business store the data so you might have hundred objects but apps specific objects i mean sales application will have only sales specific objects inside it service app will have only service specific object inside it all right so that's pretty much about apps we will see how to configure this app how to create these apps and objects and all. all right so now we know what is app let's understand a little bit more on the object side see salesforce is a product okay and what we will do is basically we will learn how this product works so <clears throat> we will not uh, build something from scratch right? it's a product it's a cloud product which is available for the customers we as an admin and developer have to know how to configure how to extend that feature that salesforce provided as out of the box so object is basically <clears throat> the table in the database which capture the data and salesforce have given us already so many standard objects you know what is standard object the objects that has already created by salesforce right so uh, when we talk about the sales cloud uh, uh, in the next session right we will see sales cloud is basically a product and based on the customer demand right most of the object that is needed to store the business data is already there in the system those are called standard object now while learning we'll also see there are a few uh, stages where you will find that standard object is not sufficient 
right? So you as an admin have to understand the customer need and have to find out is there any standard object that I can use? No, then let's go ahead and create a custom object. What is custom object? Custom object are basically again same table in the database, but it's an object that you as an admin are creating, right? So you are the creator of that object. That's all custom object, right? Uh, but the recommendation is uh, you have to see first if um, for the business for the for the specific business requirement if some standard object can uh, can be leveraged or not if it is uh, recommendation is always go ahead with the standard object if not then you go ahead and create a custom object because custom object you know has a lot of uh, uh, i mean you don't have like unlimited custom objects to create in the database okay everything is limited in sales for it's a cloud product so everything is limited in sales We'll talk about this limitation again in our different sessions. We have a session called Governor Limit where we'll talk about as a system what kind of uh, limitation that it enforces, right? And you as an admin or developer have to definitely maintain those uh, limitations that Salesforce provides. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and see how can you basically open up this object as an admin. How can you go to the setup and open up this object to configure? We will not do any configuration by the way now i'm just showing you how we can open up this object how we can reach out to this object to uh, do any sort of modification uh, so after this we will learn first uh, the sales cloud part okay the entire sales cloud journey we will learn and then we will go ahead and see how can we as an admin customize more on top of it okay so if you see my screen <clears throat> we have the setup over here and as i told you this setup will be there only for the admin not for the business user so business user will definitely not be able to click on this gearbox and click on the setup right so let's if you go to the setup we have something called object manager this object manager has basically all the standard and custom object that you have these many standard objects are there already okay now if you want to create any custom object like as i told you if something you find to store inside salesforce which a standard object cannot help you uh, it doesn't fit in right then that's why you have to create a custom object and to create a custom object you have to click on this create custom object you can also uh, if you have an excel file loaded with the custom objects data you can you can import that file over here and can create custom object from there okay we will do all these demos okay i'm just showing you the overall how it works i'm not going into the uh, how to create and all these things because we have to go step by step so uh, these are the objects. If you remember, account is the part of the sales application, right? Now, if you click on that, this is called object detail page, right? Where you as an admin go and do all your configuration for this particular object called account here. Okay, this is called object. And uh, if you go to setup again, if suppose you have to uh, uh, create any application or you have to see the apps, right? You have to go here, app. If you search app app right here you'll find something called app manager click on app manager and here you'll see all the apps right all the apps so far i haven't created we haven't created any apps right so these are the um standard apps given by if you want to create a new lightning app you just have to click on this button okay all right okay so this is just the overview of uh, app and tabs again tabs i have to show you what is tab just search tab tab this is something called search panel okay so you as an admin whatever you want to configure right just have to type in over here and you'll see the related configuration i can go here so these are the tabs that we have right if you want to create a new tab or if you want to customize uh, or configure the existing tab uh, by the way existing tabs are not there there is no custom object tabs are available because all these are standard objects so far right all right so you can create tab over here 